Hello and welcome. Uh, in today's news, it's a bit about Sega. Yes, as you know, I'm a Sega fanboy. But it's not good news. Um, apparently, Sega have decided that they are going to be, re be releasing 300 people from their jobs um, as part of their restructuring plan. They've decided they want to start going into the mobile phone and online PC market. So let's have a quick look at Eurogamer.net and see what they have to say. So they say, In a note issued today, the Japanese game company warned around 300 employees will be solicited for voluntary retirement as part of its ongoing restructure. Uh, Sega of America appears to be hit particularly hard. The company will move its North American office from San Francisco to Southern California as part of its downsizing of the business that will run from this month to early summer. 120 jobs are likely to be lost between the 9th of February and the end of March. Sega is on the drive for increased profits and is focusing on digital games, particularly smartphone and PC online gaming, which is as identified as a growth area. Here's the corporate doublespeak, <clears throat> and I quote, Voluntary retirement will be solicited in the aforementioned business to be withdrawn or consolidated and downsized, while at the same time personnel will be repositioned in digital games and growth areas of group, mainly as development personnel, in order to establish a structure which can constantly generate profits. The purpose of these measures is to improve the business efficiency of the group. So there we go, they're giving us lots of confusing words there, just to... Uh, throw us off and stop us from being too outraged because we'll be too confused to know what the hell's going on so what do you guys think personally i'm slightly disheartened i remember when the sega stopped doing their consoles and i was devastated because i love me some sega but then they carried on doing their games on different consoles and it carried on sure they ruined sonic but they did have some good games coming out for the other consoles as well um, but now they're going towards doing the mobile gaming market, which, as many, many of you may know, that's mainly for the casual audience. And a lot of mobile phone games are about generating income. You know, you want to dig this hole, you're going to have to spend three quid in order to have it dug in, instead of having to wait 24 hours. Stuff like that. I really hope that's not the road Sega decide to go down with their... Um, free to play games or their mobile phone games but you never know stranger things have happened so what do you guys think personally i just wish nintendo would buy out sega because sega and nintendo are working really well together and it's nice that two such devastatingly intense enemies from the past are now best friends and they could join together and be one and then we'd still get great sega games on our consoles as long as you own a Nintendo console, of course. So, thanks for watching this video. Remember to rate, comment, favourite, subscribe, share and all of that good stuff. And until next time, keep gaming and stay happy. Goodbye.